we just found out it's flooding. The only road onto this island is covered with water. No cars can drive across it right now. So we're going to see if we can get out of here because we don't want to be stuck on this island. This island is tiny, like tiny. It has like 500 to 1,000 people. So we're just trying to get out of here right now. Hopefully it's not covered and just get off. But thankfully we're only a couple minutes away. You can see there's so much water. When we got here, none of the water was this high. Right, they weren't able to get it. Oh, oh my goodness, all the cars in the parking lot left already. We're at the bridge right now. Oh no. Oh my gosh. There's no way that this car is gonna get across this bridge. It's completely covered. Dang. Are you scared? Do you think this is global warming? I don't know. I mean, I can't imagine that they built a bridge that was underwater. That was going to go underwater on purpose. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wonder if I could pull over. Well, no one's going to be crossing anyway. Yeah. Dang, guys, this is... look at all those people over there. All right, so some quick tips for anyone that wants to come here. Definitely come to this, just come to the island and book a night or just spend like six hours until tide goes down because that side, if you just saw, is packed with people. We're going to take some photos now. Take off your shoes. Take off my shoes? Yeah. But the world had I guess we're gonna have to walk. Can you make sure it doesn't walk in? Yeah. Where are you going? Where? Yeah. Where is it? Where's the park? I mean, it's five minutes away. Yeah. Man, I'm so glad we came. Yeah. Wow, I didn't think the water was going to be this high already. We should have brought our towels and stuff. Yeah. This place is awesome. Will loves the water. If you want to come to Udo, stay at the Udo side. We're gonna see this bridge. That's true. If you want to see the bridge and not have to like wait in a line of what does that look like? Like 60 people to take photos? Let's see. I'm really happy we decided to do this. Maybe there is a star. Are you happy too? Even though Will missed his nap and has been crying probably for the past two hours. <laughs> So deep. Man, it looks so cool. It's super, super cool. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. No? Yeah. Uh, we can take him to the beach too. Yeah. Ooh. Can we bring extra numbers? Yeah.
Totally worth it. It's definitely a hundred times better when the tide's in. Also, if you haven't figured it out yet, the island, island isn't flooding. <laughs> Just the tide comes in and covers this bridge, so it's a really cool location. Twice a day. Twice a day. And it changes every day, the tide time. So if you want to come here, find out what this tidal schedule is. And you can go on that side and with everybody else, or if you want, just stay on the island for like five, six hours. And wait Definitely for the tide to go it. down. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Go and save that baby! Ah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pop up the drone quick and just see what it looks like. So basically, with the drone, you can see that this island is an island. And every day at high tide, the bridge that connects this island to the mainland gets disconnected. So we're separated from the mainland right now. Just walking around this island. Actually, you see a lot of islands. It's so beautiful. thing we mentioned earlier which I'll just mention again is our side there's no one if you want to really have space and time come to the Ungo Sai side and just stay here I mean you're gonna have to stay like five hours or stay overnight even with the drone you see there's like a line of people waiting to take photos so um, I guess if you have time if it's quicker to just for you to just go from the soul side, I guess do that. But if you really want time and space, just come to Ungdo Sai and spend half the day here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 